Another retirement crisis that feels it's not talked about as much because it's sort of weird to talk about it because it seems like stop whining. And that's the crisis of people that have been blessed, but also have done a lot of things right for a long time. And then they get to the stage of life where they can have more time freedom, which is really what retirement is. It's not retirement like grandpa's retirement. That's how we think of it, but it's not. Mm -hmm. But there's a crisis with people that have a lot of options in that they're, they're like a bodybuilder that have gotten really strong upper body, but no legs. They know how to accumulate. They have this system of, of affirmation of saving and investing and seeing it grow and being a good steward. And then they get to retirement and they don't know how to harvest what they've accumulated. And they're so worried about the future, what their 80 or 90 year old self is going to deal with. And they don't have a good framework to know that they'll be okay. So they just keep saving and denying themselves. Mm -hmm. um, that's a crisis, a different kind of crisis, not as re visceral as I don't have enough money. So I don't mm -hmm. want to diminish that mm -hmm. relative to this, but there's a lot of people that are in this position. And what, what has happened in my, in my view, Stan is, when I was teaching the retirement planning section, section for the CFP uh, certificate program, Certified Financial Planning Certificate Program, mm -hmm. in my view, traditional classical financial planning doesn't solve for this. It, it, classical financial planning focuses on what a number is. It's all within the calculator because we're all financial geeks. That's how the certification was created. And there's, for most people, there isn't a financial dilemma. There's a dilemma of vision and spirit of what they want for their life. Um, and I think that's a big crisis for a good number of people. It is. I call it the middle class scars um, where we have generations that grew up you know, during the depression and then they passed on those middle class scars to their kids. I always talk about you know, let's say going to McDonald's and my dad's standing there and I want to order and I order the large fry and he looks at me like I just you know, committed the ultimate sin. Why would you ever order the large fry? Um, but I think uh, a lot of people suffer from the fact standpoint that they can't, they can't spend it. There's something that's, that's in the way of them actually enjoying their money. I want you, you said a word that popped out at me during that explanation. And I want you to dig deeper in that. The word was harvest. Can you go deeper when you say harvest? Um, what does that mean to the retiree? Well, let's, let's use that metaphor. You, 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 you sow and sow and sow. That's your saving and investing and denying yourself and, mm -hmm. and betting on the markets over decades, that compounding that creates a bountiful harvest. And then reaping might be the better word, right? To okay. when you're retirement, when you're, excuse me, when you're retiring, the whole point of all of this reaping was to use this to create a vision of your life. Once you've raised the family, you've filled your work obligations mm -hmm. and you've taken care of, of that. When you retire, that's when you have the most time freedom. Let's think about a normal retiree right now, right? They're going to have, they're going to live longer than any generation in history. They're going to, at least the segment we're talking about, they're going to have money to be able to do things. And they're going to be healthier than any generation. I know we see statistics that they're not, but the modern retiree, when they retire, they don't envision themselves sitting on the park bench of life. They envision themselves in the playground and they finally have the time to go mm -hmm. explore and do the things that they want to do, or at least discover them if they don't know what they are. Sure. That's what all this money is for. And classical financial planning focuses on denying them that because the numbers on the longevity and the possibility of long-term care and your 80 or 90 year old self is so uncertain because of inflation markets, whatever, that it always defaults to decisions to deny yourself today. Mm -hmm. And if you think of, a, I think of a teeter totter. So when you're making these decisions, you want to have your best great life today on one end. And on the other end, you don't, you want to be okay when you're 80 or 90. 
Hey, Stan the Annuity Man here. Did you like that little taste of my podcast, Fun with Annuities? Hey, if you want to see the full version, click the link and watch the whole darn thing. Remember, Fun with Annuities, live in the reality, not the dream.